हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई विल टेल यू आई एम गोइंग टू कॉन्फ़िगर माय स्क्यूल सर्वर ऑन उबंटू लाइन एक्स एट द सेम टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू कनेक्ट माय स्क्यूल सर्वर रिमोटली सो हाउ यू कैन कॉन्फ़िगर योर माय स्क्यूल सर्वर फॉर रिमोट टॉगिंग लेटर ऑल्सो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ब्रूट फोर्स हाउ टू डू द ब्रूट फोर्स अटैक ऑन माई स्कूल डेटाबेस and also how to exploit mysql database using meta exploit later on we will also understand how to configure a custom port okay so first of all we are going to take two machines one ubuntu linux machine another kali linux machine okay so kali linux machine will be the attacker machine and this will be the our main machine this will be our server machine on server machine we are going to log in with root user first okay so make it large so that you can see the code clearly okay so i am just made the code larger for you let's log in with root user okay once you log in with root user you can check the ip address of the machine using if config so the ip address of the server machine is 192.168.29.230 so this is my ubuntu linux machine this is our target machine on this machine we need to configure mysql server for remote logging okay so mysql database for remote logging so the first step for that is installation of package apt install mysql server mysql dash server you need to install the package so this is 242 mb package just press y for yes and we want to download and install this package so first step is to install the package you have to run the app apt install mysql server command okay okay let's see whatever it has done or not so let me run apt update command first okay apt update and then i will run that command later so first run the apt update like if some files are not downloaded even some few files are not downloaded we need to update the repository and then we will run again the mysql server okay so approx the repository is about to be updated once done i will install mysql server again okay press y so you can see the package installation is going on mysql server package installation is going on mysql server core package ready 2% 94% done then the mysql server and the database and the progress of installation is going on so you have to do it in this way okay i am not going to skip anything so that you guys watch and also learn how to troubleshoot if any problem occur okay now once done uh, we need to check the port number so clear the screen and run the command net stat okay hyphen tn lp and then you can see the port number 3306 okay 3306 Uh, and this is running on port number ip address 127.0.0.13 so this is working on only local machine you can see this one mysql okay but this is running on only on local port okay so what i need to do uh, i need to try to connect uh, mysql server from the kali linux so i will open the kali linux open the terminal here
and I will use nmap command here. nmap hyphen p port number three three zero six iphone and the port number the ip address of the machine is the ubuntu machine 192 168 29.230 port number 3306 port number 3306 so what you can see here it's telling that okay mysql port is closed right now on the ubuntu server side the port is closed you can clearly see here it clearly mentioned the port is closed so mention this one so i need to go to ubuntu server and we need to open the port how to open the port so let's learn how to connect or how to open the port now for that we need to go to the mysql configuration file so nano etc mysql mysql d dot conf okay conf dot d slash mysql dot mysql dot cnf so this is the configuration file okay remember we need to change the configuration okay so mysql dot cnf this is the main configuration file for mysql database we need to go inside this file now what we need to change so scroll down and you see this line bind address so by default you can see this line bind address so this uh, address is actually binded with only one IP and that is local like we loopback IP. So we need to comment out this line using hash command. So I put hash before this line. Okay. So you need to comment out this line. Remember, you just need to comment out this line because we don't want to bind the IP address only with this one. Okay. Then press control X, press Y for save, enter and done. Now again go to the Kali Linux machine and let's try again. And you still see it's sending, it's telling MySQL closed. So let's try to restart the service. Service MySQLD restart. Okay. okay and then we go to the kali linux machine and try again so what you see when i run this one you can see now it's open earlier it was closed the port was closed the mysql port was closed now the port is open so in this way you can open the port on your main server by default mysql is not running for remote users okay now you need to create some database you need to enable the root user to connect database remotely so now we need to log into the mysql database using mysql hyphen u root from here we need to make certain changes okay so what are those changes and how you can make it the first command is create okay create user then you can give the username after space username root and the comma and then add the rate so you have to type as it is and then add the rate after add the rate again this comma and then percentile and then again comma this one and then you have to type identified by and here in you have to type your password like one two three four five six whatever password you want and then semicolon done first line done now the second task is you have to grant all the privileges so grant all privileges on a star dot a star a star dot a star to root at the rate 
comma then percentile then comma no mistake here done okay and after that plus all previous privileges so plus privileges okay le this enter done so everything done query okay now you can exit from here exit now you can try to log in database remotely now you can remotely log in the database mysql database from kali linux machine okay so you can check the ip address of this machine the server machine is the mysql server 192.168.29.230 okay and now go to the client machine and see the kali linux machine which you can see the hacker machine here you have to type mysql hyphen h means host ip host ip is the ip address of the server that is 292.192.168.29.230 and then you have to type the username hyphen u which is root and hyphen p means password so after it asks you password the password we given one two three four five six and now you can see i am remotely logging to the database okay so i am remotely logging to the mysql database which is created on ubuntu machine and here you can see so databases command sorry so data bases you can see and you can see the database mysql performance schema sys if you want to create database you can run create databases suppose such is and this command will create a database named satish you can see database name satish if you want to delete database drop database satish and that data will be deleted okay so you can see the satish database has been deleted so you can now remotely control the database remotely log into the database okay so i hope you guys understand in the next video i will show you how to exploit the database even you don't know the username and password using brute force attack okay so if first of all watch this video carefully if you like the video it will take very you no know, very hard effort to create video for you guys so please don't forget to like and share with your friend thank you thank you for watching